Next question will come from Joey Knight. Obviously, you don't have to game plan for Tyler Higby, but I'm, I'm sure you've watched him from time to time. Just what, what's your impressions of him? Yeah, I, uh, he's someone that I definitely like to watch. Um, kind of a guy that can do it all. Uh, does a lot of the dirty work for them, too. And, uh, you know, when given the opportunity, he's made a bunch of plays for them as well. So, um, you know, I try to watch, you know, all the tight ends while watching film of the defense, you know, check out how the tight ends are playing as well. So he's someone that I, that I have always enjoyed watching. And, you know, I'm happy to see that he's been playing well. And, um, yeah, just a good player. Next question will come from Steve Isbitt. Cameron, uh, what strikes you when you watch Antonio Brown practice and play? Uh, he practices super hard. Uh, you know, that first uh, – his first practice was a walkthrough practice for the rest of us, but, you know, he took it upon himself. It definitely was not a walkthrough for him. He was kind of running around full speed. Um, you know, and that that's something that he does every practice. He, he practices super hard, uh, super competitive guy, and um, – just a fun guy to be around too. Uh, kind of lifts lifts us all up, you know. Every day brings a lot of energy, um, and then you know, haven't seen him play a ton during the games, just two games so far. But yesterday, some of the plays he made, some of the big catches he made on third down, and um, you know, kind of just his big playability. Whether you throw him a short pass and he makes a guy miss and is able to pick up a bunch of yards after the catch, or you know, running a deep post, something like that. Um, just a, a fun guy to watch, a fun guy to be around. And this is your seventh year. It's the first time the team is seven and three. Uh, after 10 games, what, what's the biggest difference around the locker room and just among the team in general? It's definitely more fun to win, um, you know, uh, to have – to consistently be winning games and, and to be in pretty much every game minus that, that last Saints game. Um, definitely refreshing. And, uh, you know, just that belief that, that we're going to win every single game um, – it's definitely kind of a contrast to how it's been in years past. And you don't really get that kind of edge unless you actually start to win games consistently. So, um, you know, it's fun coming to work every day. Uh, it's a fun group, group of guys to play with, to work with. So uh, hopefully you can continue to win games and, uh, you know, make a little push in the playoffs. Next question will come from Mark Cook. You guys put up offensively last year, 48 points against the Rams out in Los Angeles, 55 total, but, um, are, are there some things that you can take from that game, even though they've made some changes as far as their staff goes defensively and, and some of the things that they're doing? Or have you even had a chance to start looking at, at their defense yet? Yeah, I really haven't uh, had a chance to, to look at their defense yet. But, um, you know, I know they got a, a lot of new players from who they had on defense last year, a new defensive coordinator, new scheme. But, um, you know, when you think about the Rams defense, you know, the first guy you think of is Aaron Donald. And, um, trying to be able to contain him uh, and limit his impact plays that he has on the game is definitely going to be priority number one for our offense because, um, you know, he can terrorize your game plan and kind of mess, mess you up for the whole night. So, um, you know, it starts with him up front, and I know we'll have a good game plan for him. Next, we'll go to Rick Stroud. Cam, I know you guys had like 80 offensive plays, so that's part of it. But you, you played as many snaps, I think, as you have in a while. Was that was that part of the game plan? And, and kind of take us through, you know, Tom, with the touchdown pass to you, it wasn't a whole lot of space there. Uh, have you learned to just kind of know he's going to try to fit one in? Yeah, so kind of the way the game went on Sunday night against the Saints, you know, we weren't able to run the ball. And that puts a lot of pressure on the offensive line. And, um, you know, the negative game script uh, definitely hurt. So it was definitely our priority coming into the week to be able to run the football. And we thought that was going to kind of be able to open up things in the passing game. So uh, definitely was our game plan to be a little bit more uh, smash mouth with, you know, heavier personnel in the game. Um, so that was exciting to play more. <laughs> um, always enjoy that. But uh, yeah, the touchdown just, um, you know, they went to a man coverage look and, um Knew he was going to come to either me or Mike, so uh, just had to create enough separation there and a uh, great pass by Tom, and you know, luckily was able to make a big play for us there. And Tom, Tom shares everything, right? He's, he's played in more of these big games than anybody in, in football history. Um, do you have a routine like that's different? Obviously, you got to wait around on a Monday night. It's probably different on the road than at home, but like, what is that like? I mean, what, what, what have you found? Is it just each guy has to find their own little deal to, to gear up for game time yeah I mean it's definitely different and um you know it's something that we up until this year haven't haven't played a ton of night games haven't been in like the national games a ton um and it definitely is you know a whole different deal uh you kind of are just sitting there waiting the whole day to play the game um yeah. 
and it's something that we're getting used to and something that we're we're trying to figure out. But yeah, you know, I like the Sunday one o'clock home games, you know, <laughs> be home by five. But, uh, you know, it's awesome too to play to play the national games in prime time uh, to be able to kind of show, you know, the country who we are as a team. And, you know, obviously uh, we weren't proud of what happened last week and, um, you know, another big opportunity for us to kind of show who we are and um, hopefully we'll get, get this thing figured out the night games. I mean, sun, Sunday is different because you got games, but like on Monday, it's just right. kind of. Yeah. Mon- <laughs> yeah. The like, Monday, the Thursday one is like, you're still doing so much preparation for the game, right? Cause you just, you've only had a couple days to go over the game plan Sunday. Like you said, uh, you got football all day to watch Monday. <laughs> you got nothing. <laughs> right. I mean, you can only go over the game plan so many times. Um, so, you know, I think everyone does a little nap. Um, yeah, to rest up. But, um, yeah, like you said, the Monday one, um, that one's a little different. But it's Monday yeah. Night Football, so you got to get up for it. Next, we'll go to Greg Allman. You guys were so much better on third downs uh, this week compared to – I think you are one for nine against the Saints. So, to have ten conversions – um, you obviously had a big one and had a second one later on. Just what, what do you think the key is to being better on third downs? I think the key is to be in third and short. <laughs> you know, avoid the third and longs because – Third and 19? The, yeah, the, those ones aren't going to convert too often. But uh, I think we did a better job staying ahead of the, the script, you know, making sure that we were in third and manageable uh, because, like I said, there's a huge difference between even like third and five and third and nine. Um, so – being able to run the ball definitely helped in that aspect. Um, and I just execution wise, I mean, on third down, you're going to get, going to get a ton of man coverage, you know, across the league. That's primarily what teams do. Sometimes they'll pressure, but, um, you know, I thought the receivers did a great job yesterday creating separation. And, um, you know, I thought Tom was pretty on point with his passes as well. Next we'll go to Jenna Lane and then finish with JP Peterson. Do you remember your first Monday night game or your first primetime game and what that experience was like where you're just, kind of like waiting around and, and do you remember what you ended up doing to pass the time? Like I was talking, trying to describe earlier with the, I think first couple of games, we, every team has a Thursday night game. Usually mm-hmm. the Thursday night game, you're just, you're trying to go over the game plan as much as you can, because it's pretty new. You haven't really practiced much of it. You know, Sunday, you got football on all day, Monday. I figured Monday, Monday was the weird one. <laughs> Monday's a weird one um, for sure. But um, yeah, everyone just kind of has to figure out their own routine, try to figure out what works best for them. You know, I think it'll be kind of interesting this week with the later practices. That's something that I've never done before, but I think it makes sense. You know, if you're going to play a game at night, what better way to prepare than practice at night? So uh, excited to see how that works out for us. For sure. What what tends to work best for you? You said everybody's got to figure out their routine. What tends to work best for you on those like Monday night games when there is no football going on during the day? Yeah, uh, you know, I like to go for a long walk in the morning. So you get out, exercise a little, uh, take a nap and go over the game plan. It's pretty much it. Pretty boring. You just kind of just sit there and wait because you can't really do much. Last question will be from J.P. Peterson. A question about the, the- – the touchdown catch that you got was a was a high velocity red zone throw from uh, from Tom. You made a great catch. Uh, I think Tyler and Mike may not have come up with balls in the end zone. Have you have you told the old man to tone it down a little bit? I mean, <laughs> not throw it so hard sometimes. I mean, just talk a little bit about what it's like catching uh, catching a ball from Tom. And I'm not sure if he broke Godwin's finger with that touchdown pass. That seems to be a little. I don't know if that's rumor or what, but fill us in. Yeah, I mean. Uh especially down in the red zone, you know, there's going to be tight windows. That's just how it is down there. Um, the defense doesn't have to cover as much space. You know, they don't, there's no receiver running past them. There's nowhere for the receivers to go. So, you know, a lot of those passes are going to be bang, bang plays and uh, got to get your head around fast because the quarterback's got to get the ball out of his hand. And yeah, like, uh, you know, he just threw it kind of away from the defender. He was on my inside and threw it to my outside, got my head around. And uh, yeah, sometimes the ball catches you. Uh, which still works. So, yeah, lucky to hold on to it.